All right, uh, I decided this is an addendum to the main lecture. Let's talk about positivity spinning, taking a negative and making it a positive, making it sound positive rather. This is not about changing your thinking. This is just about language. Uh, so this yeah, is something that can happen a lot, when, especially when we need to write evaluations for students, especially uh, when I worked at Sami Chodon Hakyo or, for example, in a Hagwon, we needed to keep mothers happy so they would keep paying the school money so we could never say, your kid is dumb as rocks and should probably just not be here anymore. Oh, uh, we would have to use different language. Words like, your student has an an over in, um, not uh, let's try this again and you know say a student has lots of energy that means they can't study if they have an exciting personality it means they yell in class if we say they're very methodical in their work <laughs> means they're slow there's a lot of ways to be positive to sound positive when there's actually negatives. So let's watch a video real fast. This is from The Simpsons. I grew up with The Simpsons. I think you're too young for it. It's not funny or cool to you. But The Simpsons started when I started kindergarten, when I was six years old, 30 years ago. Simpsons have been going on a long time. Let's bring it up. Bam. Bam. Marge, I had a lot of calls about you. Customers love your no-pressure approach. Well, like we say, the right house for the right person. Listen, it's time I let you in on a little secret, Marge. The right house is the house that's for sale. The right person is anyone. But all I did was tell the truth. Of course you did, but there's the truth and the truth. Let me show you. It's awfully small. I'd say it's awfully cozy. So we see in the first example, it's a small house. So it's a cozy house. Cozy means small, but it sounds much better. It sounds like, oh, you're going to be all nice and together. Yay. Uh, if any of you have spent time in a Goshiwan, those are awfully cozy. Yes cozy and they're very economical uh in that they're cheap so we take even though they're negatives or you know oh, it being cheap is a positive economical sounds nicer that's dilapidated rustic so dilapidated let's go back and hear it again rustic d that's dilapidated. Dilapidated. I can't talk. It's it's all, it's twelve thirty. I can't talk. We can see on the screen. It's a bad house. It's in bad repair. So the word we use is rustic. Rustic. Rustic is very fashionable now in America. Rustic bars and houses. Basically, it's just a bunch of broken stuff and stuff that looks old. You'll see this in different ways in Korea. Korea doesn't like old as much, but you will see it in a more positive ways. Especially when you, you might hear the word like, yet na, yet na cho, like, yeah, you know, uh, and when they talk about old fashioned ways, ways of the memory and things like that. So it's a, uh, we do see it. Rustic. That house is on fire. Motivated seller. That's a beauty. Forget about that house. That's the murder house. Mm, yeah. So there's always going to be uh, some things that we need to make positive. So for your project, even if there's some more negative things, uh, you need to not talk about them negatively. You need to talk about them positively. Positively. For example, if you're uh, if you're th if you're uh, if your uh, chosen tourist attraction is uh, very busy, lots of people, you can say it's full of energy, full of energy. Or if it's expensive, you can say 
luxury, exclusive. We see this a lot, a lot. luxury, premium. Those are all words that are positive to mean more money, cost more money, things like that. Premium gift set. You'll see this around at Chusok or Solna where you get the premium gift set of spam or premium gift set of Kanu coffee. It's the same coffee, it's just more expensive. So we're going to, something I want us to be aware of that even if there's negatives and there's always going to be some negative, how can we turn that into a positive spin using positive language? And that's something we're going to try to uh, work on. And I want you to be aware of as you choose what you want to talk about and as you talk about it. All right. So this is the end of the addendum. There'll be some additional materials and we will see each other again later.